Okay guys, I've done a thing. This is that leftover piece of screw from my impeller pump. And uh, the head broke off when I unscrewed everything. But it's okay, I can take it out, I thought. I clipped it on very, very gently. And I gave it a very light turn and it just started turning without any resistance. And that's why. I don't know if, if this is getting... <laughs> if you can see this. But uh, here we go. Now I have a bit of a conundrum. So the conundrum is that I've now got this uh, stuck in there. I don't know if you can see it. Which means I should probably now take the entire pump off. Which I'm sure will be super, super easy and won't drive me up the wall at all. Um, so maybe that should be what I do today. Um, is try to take this all off. Oh man. I had hoped for a quick and easy solution to this, but nothing's ever quick and easy on a boat. So this right here on the right hand side is a probably a repaired um, job from who knows when. That last bolt is actually been tapped in and there's a nut on it. That's not great and the corrosion is pretty bad here too. So I would guess there was an old school leak and judging by, oh, judging by all that mess um, and corrosion, I've got my work cut out for me. Good, I'll have to clean that out. And this looks intriguing. Uh, hmm. All right, this is the pump. 
and uh, what am I actually looking at? So there is the thing I tried to remove which broke off but okay so this is dirty and needs to be cleaned and okay no big deal but look at this what's what's happening here I'm not even sure I fully know what I'm looking at I do know what that is that 100% is a braze, a weld. So something went wrong and uh, someone did something. And this is what I've got. And uh, I'm, not in, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Alright, let me clean this up a bit more and see what's happening. This is clearly, I'm not even sure that, is this even turning? It is? Wow, okay. It is turning. Alright, uh, let's pause for a moment. I've come in quickly to do a little bit of a mix of epoxy for the floors. Um, so this is 1 to 20, 100 to 26 is the scale. So it's 50, 13, give or take. And this is the leftover teak dust that a couple of weeks ago when sanding the floor, I kept it aside, specifically so I could make a bit of a paste. The whole point of this is to even out a section of the floor. Now, I don't know how well this stuff's going to mix, but... Uh, Let's give it a bash. It's obviously got some chunky bits in because it's been standing for a while. So I'm just going to fluff it up a bit. That'll do. Teak dust and epoxy. Okay. Now I don't want too much of a pourable paste. So I want something that is uh, a little bit thicker than that. I hope there's no humidity in any of this. Dust is very good at collecting humidity and not very good for epoxy. Alright, I can do some more. I want it a little bit more. Okay. This will still run a little bit once I put it on the floor, so I'm going to add a teeny bit because I don't want it to self level.
they started work in the grey Atlantic mist, sending divers down to look at the hull and inspect every inch of rusting iron that they could reach. So while I'm listening to a BBC documentary about the rescue of the Great Britain of the Falkland Islands, a wonderful steel ship, uh, check it out on YouTube. It's such a great documentary. Um, keeping my mind busy while I start painting the top coat on the electrical cabinet front. This is something that's been bothering me for such a long time. I've been trying to get to it, trying to get to it, and I just never quite get to it. So today I took the chance unplugged everything, pulled it out, gave it a light sand, and now I'm going to paint it with top coat. Uh, it only needs one coat, because um, it's already got one or two coats um, on it from before. Um, I've gotten rid of all of those scorch marks and uh, blackness and powder, so it'll look a lot better. I've already installed it, as you saw right at the beginning, the very first clip of this video. So one more thing. Uh, for off the to-do list. stand at the end of May on my 10 items to do. Well, the only things we actually were able to cross off was the following. Connecting the oil cooler to the gearbox, bolting and welding the stanchion mounts that's been done, as well as completing the galley bulge hatch access, which I have done. I haven't started at all with the new port side portals. I have not started routing and repairing the coach roof area. And uh, in progress is the T that I need to do. That's been uh, halted by uh, the pump. The aft tow rail repair has been halted by the weather because I can't turn the boat around until I was able to get the fairing. Installing the new hatch is almost done but not completed also because of fairing and weather. Raw water has been blocked because of the pump and the top coat forward deck because of weather and fairing. Although I've just picked it up and it's Thursday and this video has got to go out later so and the weather isn't very good so I won't be able to do that until next week but that's how it goes it was a uh, it was a lofty challenge and the weather has really played a massive part this month in slowing down progress on the boat I am glad that this is done um, this means I can now start mounting the electrics correctly. I can install the other pump now that the galley bilge access has been repaired and these have been cleaned up and fixed. They are the uh, switches. I have my new nav lights. Well, not new. I've reconditioned those because um, they were somewhat melted. So that's how the month has been sort of going. From next week I'm going to try and do a daily vlog for all of June. I don't know how well I'm going to do, not weekends. Um, I might do some stuff on the boat on weekends and add it into the daily vlog. So Monday to Friday, if I can pull it off, I'm going to try and do a daily, a daily vlog. Let me know if you guys think that's an interesting idea. They'll probably be shorter. Um, eight minute sort of things, um, what I did on that day, render it and upload it. It won't be uploaded at the usual time, it'll be probably later in the evening because I have to edit, render and send it all out. But I'm going to give it a try, partly because I need to up my editing skills and I'm doing a small little course and I'm trying to figure out how to do things a little bit better. Um, so it will give me the practice I need. 
It also keeps me honest in my time management because I have other things to do for the daytime job. I am contracting and I do still have a sort of a daytime job and I have to maintain that and keep that going um, so that I can keep all of this going. But yeah, let me know what you guys think if I can pull off a daily vlog. I'm keen to try. In the meantime, thank you as always for watching and for subscribing. Those who haven't, please do so. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 500 and then maybe we can get to a thousand after that. Um, so have a good week. Uh, leave me a comment or a like on the video and I'll be happy to chat to you. Have a good week guys. Bye-bye.